Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble such a um, countertop gravity water filter system. In this case, it's made by Purewell, but um, the physics behind that system is um, is is the same for the entire planet. Of course, that means every filter system works. Um, randomly the same okay so what we have here we have two tanks one is the bottom tank one is the upper tank and if you have um, water out of the river for example or out of a um, not so good um, filtered source then it's good to use such a filter system in this case we can use two kinds of filter. This is the first the main filter and the second DTS filter element. And um, the best thing is, of course, you, you use both of them. But some uh, systems out there are only available with one of the filter. But this is enough to filter all bad things out. If you like to do the TDS filter additive, that means all mm, other stuff will filter it out. That means it's nearly, um, nearly a, a clear and a, a, a ninety-nine per percent clear water without any other things like salt or something else. Here, bacteria, viruses, something else are filtered out. So, how we can sample this? The physics behind this is. We have two tanks. Okay, so these two tanks are um, standing above each other. Here is the bad water tank. Inside there is a filter. Over there, here is the filter inside, and the water runs through the filter to um, to the filtered tank. This is the bottom tank. Additive maybe DTS system is there, and here is the fresh filtered system so you can um, drain out the water out of it and you can drink it however um, the uh, water is from for example from the from a not so nice river or something else or another source which the, um, the water is not so good for you maybe outdoor activities um, or in in countries where the water out of the tap is not so good. So, how we can assemble this? Let's begin on the bottom side, okay? So, first step is, we have here a stand. You does not need a stand, because there is a rubber ring. This rubber ring comes under the um, under container, so you can get this on the countertop, for example, and use it um, like this, okay? That's no problem. But it's better, I think, with a stand. So here, here we are, now it's on a stand. Okay, the next step is, here is water inside, fresh, nice water. And we like to drain out that water. For this, um, in this case, by Purewell, you get two walls, really cool. One metal wall and one plastic wall. The wall of the plastic is a, instant wall and the other is a lever wall okay how we can install this for example we have here a rubber ceiling and um and cover okay here we are you have to look that the cover that the cover is on the outside the rubber ceiling is on the container you get it in position over here okay and on the uh, Upper side area, on the other side, inside, we do the same. Rub ceiling, cover, and the, um, the nut. Okay, here we are. I get this in position, get the rubber ceiling on top, get this in position too, and we are using the wrench to tighten this now. Okay, here we are, uh, letting First, first, the first thing is the hand job. We do it through it. Here we are. 
and then we tighten it by using the wrench until it is sealed. So that's good. Here we are. Good job. Now it is sealed and it looks good. So what we have now is we have a container to serve some um, fresh lemonade, for example. Get the lemonade inside, open the valve. So this, this is closed and this is open. And the lemonade, for example, runs out. Really cool. But some flies, wasps and other are getting into the tank. For this, we have this um, upper cover for this. For, there are two washers. One washer is um, for each side. And then we get the knob into position and tighten the, the screw. So, here we are. Oh. So, haha, <laughs> fresh laminate. You can make a business with that. Okay, but our main thing is we go to filtrate. For the filtration, this tank is big. So here we are. This tank comes on the top of the um, bottom tank. And there are two holes in it. Two holes. These two holes, through these holes, the, the water rinse through it. And we have to assemble now the filter system. Before we uh, assemble the filter system, we get this filter. There are two rubbers again. We know the profit and go to our kitchen tap for example and rinse water inside the filter through the filter out of it this is the cleaning process of the filter if we rinse out the water job's done everything fine now we assemble it here we are we have the filter and the filter um, should be sand the water through that hose so we now enter the filter into it. Here we are. And then rubber sealing on the other side and this nut. So we tighten this nut until it seals and the filter is installed. Really cool. Oh yeah. So now there is another hole for another filter because one filter is fast, but two filters are faster than one filter. So you can, if you have a big group or a big, uh, um, a, a big, big, big kind of water to filter for, you should use two filters. But if you are going to use one filter, because you are alone, for example, then you have these plugs. It's the same system, two, um, two rubber ceilings and a nut to close that door. So now we are in setup with one filter. Okay, here we are. That's finished because the main filter is installed. We can get this upper tank into position. Let the bad water go in the, in the upper tank. Close it. Let it filter the system. One filter can handle 3000 gallons and the capacity of this tank is 2.25 gallons. And if the water rinse through the filter, you can open the valve and have fresh water. But if you like to install a TDS filter additionally for more filtration, better level of filtration, we can Add this filter to the to that the system here. Yeah, here we are. Here you can see the nut. Here you can see the filter, and the filter has plugs. We have to remove them first to open the filtration system. It's the same filter thing. Wash out the filter by using a tap, and then you have uh, on the upper side of the filter you can. Um, uh, connect these two filters 
each other. For this, we remove the uh, nut of the main filter and attach the DTS filter on the other side. That means in the first step, the filtration of the main filter will be the water and then it goes through the main filter to the TDS filter. And after the filtration is completed, it rinse out here and get in the tank. Here we are, the job's done. Now we have the full filter support. We can add water over here, let it filtrate, and it comes out here if we open the valve. And with this proper, every gravity filter system out there is working. So easy it is. And one filter can uh, filter, uh, filtrate uh, up to 3000 gallons. So after 3000 gallons, you have to replace the filters. Or you use two of them, then you can filtrate 6000 gallons, of course. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon, soon.